Hey God, from experiences so far for these past months, these past weeks, I've come to realize that see, social media is the definition of I will make you believe what I want to make you believe. Hey beauties, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the community. It's Positive Talk by Beauty. And if you're new here, my name is Beauty Sarah and Say Wifre. Please join the family by subscribing. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey my beauties, thank you for being here. So guys, it's been a while. I did an episode of Positive Talk by Beauty. See, guys, let me tell you. Positive Talk by Beauty is the reason i opened youtube from the beginning because i love media and i love um the hosting part of it tv hosting i love it so much so i just felt like when i discovered youtube i was like wow this is a great platform for me to just grow myself in being a good tv host and the plan that i have for positive talk ability is a lot like I don't just want it to be one person's show like it's a talk show that has to do with guests having guests around and just talking about faith hope dreams and self-improvement or personal growth related topics okay so meanwhile before then let me do <laughs> let me be doing it alone for the meantime okay so guys, today's video is a very special video because this video was not scripted. Like, it was not scripted at all. I just want to come on here, talk from my heart, inspired by the Holy Spirit, and talk from my experience. So guys, I want to talk on the concept of comparison. See, hey God, from experiences so far, for these past months, these past weeks, I've come to realize that, see, social media is the definition of I will make you believe what I want to make you believe. You understand? It simply means make them believe what you want them to believe. It's not the truth. It's not the whole truth. See, I have seen people online and I'll be like, especially my peer group, and I'll be like, Jesus, like, this person is living the life this person has her life so figured out like this person i will not start feeling like feeling a certain type of way like my life is not like i'm not trying enough i'm not doing enough my life is not it's not there yet see my person see it was recently that i see i don't want to go into details of what happened but i'm just in a state right now that it is not no matter what you show me online see <laughs> let me not say i will not believe you 100 percent because but the truth is that i cannot begin to compare myself with what you are showing me online when i know that what you are showing me is what you want me to believe it might not be the truth and there's another angle to it right some persons might just be appearing okay appearing good appearing successful and appearing aesthetically pleasing because that's what they love okay some persons love to look good they love to appear good they are not appearing good in them sometimes just love their things to be perfect and you will not be seeing them and be feeling oh this person is very successful they literally don't want you to see them that way but you just choose to see them that way because of what social media has make us believe okay so you just choose to see them that way and you not feel like oh this person is successful see even there are some persons that i know that wear package and not good hairs good clothes good location and if they need help from you they will come and ask you because they are not telling you or they are not asking you to view them as being successful okay so even consigning my social media like especially this is my youtube i would just see my peers like their subscribers their likes their views and i'll be like jesus what's happening to my channel is it that i'm not doing well enough is it that my content is not pleasing enough my content is not good enough my like see 
it got to a point that if not for the grace of God in my life, I would have stopped YouTube. But because YouTube is a passion, it's not about what I am yet to gain or something, but I want to earn from it too, okay? But it's a passion, first of all. It's something that I love doing and it makes me happy. That's why I was still consistent regardless. And the kind of growth that I've seen so far cannot even compare to the growth that I've been having these past years, okay? So... I now realized even this week I was like, should I even stop being consistent? I was not even pumped to film. I was not feeling like filming and all that. I would just like see people that we start together. They already are 10k subscribers, some 5k subscribers, some 4k subscribers. Is it their Instagram page? They are having 20k followers, 30k, and I'm just here. And some persons we follow, and later they will now follow. What's the need? I was just in that state. This week, oh, this week. I hope this video is not too long this week and then hmm, i was just scrolling through social media and okay on sunday started no it's not on sunday started like when did this start like my decision to draw closer to god and just build my spiritual life back again because i felt like it was just going down and i needed to revive myself so this period i've just made decisions that i want to know god better i want to draw closer to god i want to build my spiritual library you get so thank god for um was it was this um podcast called uh, breakfast bible before breakfast with pastor m it has really helped me then other men of god apostle sema and uh, sarah jake Roberts, uh, stephanie ek then better together tv like that is my favorite show so far on youtube like those you see great women of god successful women of god talking about life in christian perspective and i just learned a lot from there and later i just found peace see i just found peace and i told myself that anytime the growth wants to come let it come god will keep strengthening me and empowering me to keep doing what i love to do and whenever the growth wants to come it should just come and then yesterday i came across a scripture jesus see nowadays and when i come across a scripture what i do i read the scripture in two other bible okay and that bible is the passion translation the new living translation and even the amplified translation like because when i was reading king james i would not lie like i don't understand the bible it was like shakespearean english for me but now that i'm using the passion translation or new living translation or amplified like it just simplifies the bible for me and makes it fun makes it sweet for me and then i just came across a scripture Hey God, let me show you guys the scripture. See, I wrote it on. Um, is it sticky notes? Yeah, that's where I wrote the scripture. Sit. I don't know if you guys, if this thing is focusing. See, Galatians six verse four. I wrote it in New Living Translation, and then the Passion Translation. Galatians six verse four. Let me read this scripture for you. I have to write it out so that I'll be reminding myself of the scripture every day. Hope this man is recording. No, he go pay me. See, Galatians 6 verse 4, New Living Translation, it says, Pay careful attention to your own work, for then you will get the satisfaction of a job well done. And you won't need to compare yourself to anyone else. See, I saw the scripture yesterday. I was shouting, shouting with joy. Then the next one, the Passion Translation, it says, Let everyone be devoted to fulfill the work god has given them to do with excellence and their joy will be in doing what's right and being themselves and not being affirmed by others and also yesterday i listened to i think coffee of me i'm going to put a uh, instagram handle up on the screen so that you see she was talking about comparison see this life and uh, you are one of one i am one of one i even wrote it to your seat like i am one of one and nobody can be me and i wrote here that my tribe hope you guys can see my tribe will find me and concerning my business people who need my products we buy see concerning this content stuff i just need to be myself and those that are meant for me they will find me those are my tribe they will find me i don't need to imitate anybody i don't need to look at anybody's success so far the only thing that i need to look at is my past me versus my present me and if i am being sincere i know that my present me <laughs> is far better 
than my past me so it means there is growth even if the growth is not the instagram standard or social media standard of growth but there is growth so this is me coming here to just share the scriptures with you guys and know that there is no need for comparison because the truth is that the more you look the less you see see this social media era don't be deceived don't start feeling bad or feeling less of yourself because you are seeing people especially your pair doing this and doing that get see your work is different your own is different focus on your own this is what the scripture is telling us about we should focus on our own we should be ourselves and we should not begin to affirm ourselves with others and we should not feel like I'm using myself as an example and I'm still talking to myself. Don't be like, oh, because we are not getting 1K subscribers or 500 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers is not coming a day. It means we are not doing well. No, you are. Even if the growth is slow, celebrate it. Focus on yourself. Focus on building your spiritual library because that is where lies your peace. Okay? And then there is something that I also saw here that I want to read um for you guys he said you are doing amazingly good when you felt you aren't doing as your peers there is someone else who is inspired by you even when you feel like you're not doing well enough you're not meeting up the standard you're not living the life see there is still somebody that is still looking up to you and praying that this person just inspires me can i just be like this person there is even if they don't come to you to tell you there are people like that so be encouraged by that and also be encouraged by this scripture see don't ever forget the scripture galatians 6 verse 4 write it where you'll be seeing it every day like the way i did i wrote mine where i can be seeing it every day so write it where you can be seeing it i wrote it and just place it on top of my table so i will be seeing it every day and know that your tribe will find you the people that are meant for you will find you. you the business that you are doing the people that need your product they will buy they will locate you see be encouraged and just rest stop comparing your life to someone else's life and eh? it's not fair it's not fair to yourself okay so guys yes i've come to the end of my TED talk yes i'm done with today's episode and i hope it was impactful enough I hope it just helps us changes our mindset and just makes us feel better because that is the essence of me making this video and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to me if you haven't yet subscribed please join the family let's grow together join the tribe okay so I'll see you guys in my next one bye Mwah. bye guys